Hi, and welcome back to the channel. So I've just drove through to Leeds in West Yorkshire to photograph kingfishers. So I've came to Mark Hughes's excellent setup and I will post some details below how to find Mark's hides. Uh, it was actually forecast for a, a quite a windy day, but dry. Uh, it's no wind and it's raining. <laughs> That's me all over. But yeah, so I don't know if you can see here behind me. This is the pond. And if you can see in the distance there, it's like a green hut. Now, that's actually a man-made nesting station for kingfishers. And because this often floods, Mark decided to build a nesting box, which is raised off the ground. And that helps the kingfishers, you know, so they don't lose the nests. Uh, which has happened, that's one of the downsides with kingfishers. When it floods, the nest gets washed away. Similar to dippers as well. So yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna go and sit in the hide, uh, cause it's now chucking down. <laughs> and I've seen the kingfisher already. You know, it's flew past twice. Got some perches out there. So yeah, actually I'll go and show you the perches now and how it sets up. So, yeah, let's go and show you now, because I'm getting soaked here. Right, yo, I've just standing where hopefully the kingfisher is going to land. So, it's a perch here. Kingfisher hopefully comes on there, dives into a big tub of water, where it's about 20 fish in there at the moment. So, after you've got a few shots, you might want to get a different shot on a different perch. So what Mark's done, he's got a vase, uh, and he just tightened the perch into the vase. So I'll come along, I've got two perches here, and Mark's got maybe 15, 20 different perches there. So I like this one, or this one here. So I'll come along, unscrew the vise, put a new perch in, and that's it. And over the course of the day, hopefully you can get quite a few shots. Downside is, it is January, and obviously it's very, very quiet, the kingfishers. Uh, I just had some spare time this week, so I thought I'd come and do a little video here. Uh, it really kicks off, you know, May, June, July. It's really, really busy, especially when they've got chicks to feed. I come here last year, I was getting probably 60 dives to 100 dives in a session. You know, it's amazing. It really is. So, yeah, anyway, so that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to go inside, get my lens set up and try and get some shots. Right, so uh, still sitting here. <laughs> and just keep watching because uh, these kingfishers just come so quickly. Yeah, and oh, I've been here about two and a half hours so far, and I'm getting a little bit cold now. My body's warm, it's my feet, my feet's freezing. But I've had about three visits so far, so as expected this time of year. It probably visit every hour. The last time he come in, basically in 20 seconds, dove got a fish, off he went. The time before that, he sat for a while, he dove, he came back out, with a fish in his mouth. So, you know, as, as you've seen the video, and that was great. But uh, I'm sitting here waiting for him to come back again. 
I would like to get a couple of still shots on this perch I put out and, uh, and then change the perch and put one more perch out and try and get one more visit so I've probably been here about you know oh, I don't know maybe 45 minutes since the last visit I had so low averages he's got to be coming back shortly so you know this is you know it's totally different you know in May May June July you know time when they've got young to feed they're basically in every few every few minutes you know just in battles of forwards feeding the chicks so that's the time to come you know if you want and this is a, this is a great setup here you know it really is so uh, you get some nice images so what I'm actually going to do as well I'm actually going to show you some images that I took when I come here last I think it was last June or July I, I ran a workshop here and uh, so you'll be able to see the sort of shots you can get here as well but I'll also put up today's images yeah anyway I'm going to just sit tight and be quiet and hope it comes back right okay bye for now eventually I've just had another visit and the same as before it come in just like literally 20 seconds it's home and off you went but I, I managed to fire off a few stills and now I've got a little bit of video so I'm quite pleased with that it's only a few seconds but it's still nice so I've just been out changed the perch it's absolutely bouncing down as you can see in this video I'm going to show you now you can see the rain coming down uh, so see I've just changed the perch and what we do now is just give it an hour and if it doesn't come back by then I'm going to call it a day and only because I'm freezing cold <laughs> so yeah but he's, he's about uh, see, I've got a feeling that's a, not the same one I came in the first time the one I came in the first time stayed for ages uh, but yeah I'm going to give it an hour and uh, I've got a nice little mossy sort of perch up out now it looks nice so fingers crossed he comes back shortly right we'll just keep an eye out here because i can i can hear a kingfisher chirping away there in the, in the distance back again no he hasn't been back <laughs> i just thought i'd mention about camera settings uh well not so much camera settings but mainly focal length you know so we're sitting in a hide and it, we're quite close so at the moment i've actually brought a lot of gear this morning uh, i was struggling to carry it all you know my tripod tripods a necessity uh, i brought my 600 f4 and uh, and also i brought another camera bag which has got my 100 to 500 rf lens and i've just used that uh, the 600 it's probably i mean you can shoot a 600 mil but I decided against it, uh, so I've wasted my time lumping that here. At the moment, I'm shooting at roughly about 420 mil. So I think if you've got something like a, a 400 to sort of 600 focal length lens, it's perfect. You know, so at the moment, camera settings, I'm about f6.3, and all I'm looking for is about 500 a second. You know they're just sitting perched and because it's such a miserable day i think my iso is now about 2000 but it was about 3200 at one stage so yeah but that's the sort of camera settings and distance you need if you come to this hide
wow, wow. It wasn't even 10 minutes since I spoke last about camera settings and stuff, and you come back in. And I think it was the same one that came in this morning, because uh, he, he hung around where the other one came in was just like off, you know, straight away. This one came in, he sat, dove for a fish, came back to the perch, and he's battering the fish to try and kill it, you know. And because uh, the branch is a little bit flimsy that I put out, he was probably taking a bit longer to batter the fish. And anyway, I got the whole lot in slow motion. I think it's about, it's about two minutes worth of action. And then he swallows the fish as well. Uh, I got the whole lot. It's just like that there just made the whole trip worthwhile coming through. And uh, yeah, I must say thanks very much to, to Mark Hughes for letting me come today. Mark's a great guy, by the way. Yeah, so you, you need to come visit this hide. It's one of, one of the better guys in this game. Yeah, so, I don't know, I'm just gobsmacked by that. It's I'm really, really chuffed a bit to that footage. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, I'm going to try and get my badger one done shortly. Yeah, it's, uh, maybe I'm off to, uh, we'll go in Sweden in two weeks, two weeks tomorrow. So when I come back from Sweden, I'm, I'm going to start the badgers off for the for the season and try and do a video. Anyway, right, once again, just want to say a big thank you for watching this short video. And uh, I'm going to end now with the clip that I've just been talking about. Okay, until next time, thanks a lot and goodbye.
So basically the kingfisher comes in, dives in to a pool for some water. Some water? For some fish? <laughs> yeah.